ladies and gentlemen, they make the point again that the NDC is arrogantly and disrespectfully presenting a presidential candidate who destroyed Ghana between the period of 2012 to 2016 and was rejected. And that President Mahama is a re-denominated can candidate. And he has nothing new to offer and so on. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, what we would want to tell Mr. John Bordeaux and the MPP is that Ghanaians come 2020 will choose this re-denominated Muhammad they are talking about, who is actually a rejuvenated Muhammad, yeah. Yeah. over a discredited, a depreciated, and a dilapidated present equivalent. And you see here, let me indicate that it is quite obvious, even to the uninitiated, that Mr. John Boadu is calling for a tune he has no legs to dance to. It is clear as daylight that the impressive record of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama continues to haunt the MPP. The NDC's record in government not too long ago is a major source of constant headache and niggling nightmares for this clueless and inept Akufuado Bawumia government. The indisputable fact is that the Akufuado administration stands dwarfed, completely dwarfed, by his predecessor, His Excellency President John Dramani Mahama, in all fronts. We are therefore excited by this new challenge to compare records. And ladies and gentlemen, contrary to the claims that John Dramani Mahama destroyed Ghana, we would submit to you, and as a matter of fact, the evidence will show that the biggest, that John Dramani Mahama is the only president in Ghana's fourth republic who has made the biggest investments in the area of health, in the area of water, in the area of energy, in the area of communications, in the area of housing, roads, education, and so on and so forth. For example, we know that in four years, under the able leadership of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, we added 107.2 million barrels of water per day to Ghana's water production capacity. We'd want to ask John Bodu, since they claim that they are the ones who build and we destroy, let them tell us how much President Ekufuado has added. If for nothing at all, Ghanaians know of the Pong water project. They know of the Accra Tema water project. They know of the Tema desalinization plants, among others, which provided over 7 million Ghanaians with portable water and served over 1,000 communities with portable water. Let them tell us what they have done in the area of water. Ladies and gentlemen, if for nothing at all, we know that the government of President Mahama increased Ghana's power generation capacity by 2,500 megawatts. He brought in Ameri, he brought in car power, he brought in Asogli Phase 2, he brought in SEM power, and so on and so forth. Let them tell us what, how many megawatts they have added to Ghana's degeneration capacity. As a matter of fact, in a recent interview of the Minister of Energy, Honorable Peter Mewu, on Joy News, he considered the fact that since they came into office, they have not added a megawatt of power to our generation capacity. But not just generation. If you look at the investment we made in the fuel sector, the $1 billion investment in that turbo gas project, the $7.2 billion investment in the ENI project and so on, the MPP has nothing to match that. And so we are completely baffled that they will invite us to this debate.